What's up, YouTube? What's going on? Corey Kenshin here. Welcome back to the Crooked Man. <sighs> Excuse my hard breathing. I'm a little scared. No, I'm just kidding. So last time, um, oh yeah, D almost died um, from the gas. I almost died myself. And sorry about my face cam cutting out at the end there. Um, Crooked man like set up some room with some gas filling in it and we were about to die and I, I couldn't figure out what I needed to do for the life of me. I finally did figure out what to do and then we got here. Now the crooked man had a chance to kill me but he didn't. Um, I don't know what was up with that but let's keep going. Oh hey hold on a sec. You dropped something. Here you. Wait what? Huh? Oh no, this is the page that the teacher was ragging on D with. This looked like Professor Andrews writing. Why do you have this? Hey, wait, don't don't read that. Huh? Dreamer? The grade he'll always get? Hey, what's this about? How why did the professor This is how he really felt. But you supported me. He said I'd be a lawyer someday. That's what you told me. Hey, hey, D. Calm down. <gasps> oh my gosh, that scared me. D! Oh, that guy. He's in no condition. And the, that monster's bound to find him. I have to go after him. Why is this music playing right now? Oh, we got some freaking steps. Let's follow these freaking steps. This room is so scary that I'm tearing up right now. Do you guys see the tears in my eyes? I'm about to start crying again. Are my tears? Oh my gosh. Okay. So, um, let's save this. I don't know why this music is playing. This music is just following me. Dang. Oh yeah. Thank you, Ira Bull, for saying that, um, I could be a voice actor. Yeah. I think I should be a voice actor. Um, okay. The basement is probably full of gas. Oh yeah. D. Are you in the lecture halls? I cannot believe this music is playing right now. This is ridiculous. D, there you are, thank goodness. I always knew, at least that I wasn't a genius or anything. But why didn't they say it? I respected Professor Andrew, cause he always supported me. Sure, I'm kind of dumb, I've been treated Tease constantly for it. I failed the dang test five times. I'm a failure. But aren't I free to dream? I've always dreamt of being a lawyer. That's why I still study so hard. Why did it have to be like this? Was everything I did for nothing? I don't know what to do anymore. D. That's life, isn't it? You shouldn't give up. Oh. The pessimistic choice would be, that's life, isn't it? But the optimistic choice would be, you shouldn't give up. According to White Wolf, I should go with pessimism. So, that's life, isn't it? I mean, you weren't cut out for it. Oh, that's kind of rude. What? Just looking at you kind of ear irritates me. Maybe it reminds me of me too much. Okay, David, chill out a little bit. You need to wake up. Aren't there enough hopeless idealists in the world as it is? You shut the heck up! Yeah, I'm stupid, but I'll keep studying! Everyone's lacking in something or another. In your case, it was intelligence. This is too much. You dang! You want a piece of me? In my case, it was my eyes. Huh? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a test pilot. 
I studied hard and made it to flight school, but I was colorblind. I'm colorblind? Strange, isn't it? Just a few colors you can't see, and you suddenly have no right to fly. It seems obvious to me now, but back then I couldn't even comprehend, so I... I faked my vision results to get into the school. I spent three years playing innocent, even managed to be an honor student. But I was found out on the day of the pilot exam, no less. Dang, that sucks. That day, I was reduced from an honor student to a filthy traitor. I dropped out, and now I'm just some nobody clerk. I don't know if you still want to be a lawyer, but I just don't, but I just want to say something. Don't trap yourself by narrowing the road. Ain't it rough? Wasn't it your childhood dream? It certainly was hard. It still is. But looking at you, I realized. It's not too much, but I make my own money. I have a girlfriend and I drink with my buddy and I enjoy my life for what it is. I didn't want to recognize I'd been set back, but I can't deny where I am now, nor all the work I put in back then. Are you happy with what you have now? Yes, though I didn't quite notice it. My life is how I chose choose it to be, so I shouldn't regret it. How about you? I, I won't give up because because it's always been my dream to be a lawyer. I see. So I'll, just one more time, I'll try the bar exam. But if I fail, that's it. I made up my mind. I'll give up for the good then. But it won't mean those three years were a waste. Right, David? Yeah, of course. This is some good narrative right now. Is there any point to staying here? Let's go. I'll take you home if you want. Yeah, thanks. Crooked man about to come right in here. David, what's up? Let's do this. What? what? Hey, David. Yeah, I told you about them freaking monsters, didn't I? D, get out of the school. I'll keep him away. Got it? Oh, what the heck? No, let's go together. This guy's bad news. He's chased me. Who knows how many miles. It's me this monster is after. I'll take care of it. Uh, all right. First thing I'm doing. Oh, yeah. You know what time it is? Battle time. You just won't die, will you? I'll finish you off this time. Super Saiyan! No, I'm just kidding. Let's do this. Oh! Oh, I can't move! What the freak? <laughs> that was so hard. David, you're so dang slow. Are you alright? Hey, hang on, David. I'll come save you. <sighs> Startled me, dude. You okay, David? Did you finish that thing off? Yeah, somehow. But I don't think it's done yet for yet. Done for yet. I feel like it'll come back again. What? What do you mean, again? Didn't I tell you? It followed me all the way from a distant hotel. I don't think this is over yet. Ugh. I don't get it. Dude, but uh, you going somewhere now? I'd like to, but I don't have a destination. The guy I'm looking for wasn't here, so I don't know where he could be. Huh. Hey, hold on. I actually found this earlier. Any help? Got a paper with an address. Where? Where did you find this? I found it in the basement. The paper looks pretty new, so thought you just dropped it. Pretty new? Place of regret. Do you know where this is? No clue, but I think it's pretty far from here. 
it take about a day to drive. But I thought he didn't know where it was. I think I'll check this out. So long. H hold on! No, you better not kiss me, dude. You said you're looking for... Who exactly? Ain't it dang dangerous driving around this late? Why do you want to meet him? Dang it, Steam. To be honest, I'm not sure myself. Though, I have sort of an ex excuse. Huh? My point is, it doesn't matter why I want to meet him. It's just, right now it feels like I have to. I have to go. Well, alright. Take care of yourself. Is your house far? I'll take you there. Don't worry about it. I can handle myself fine. Okay. Be careful then. Wait! Don't kiss me, dude. Oh, I was about to say. If we meet again sometime, you want to have a drink or something? Of course. I look forward to it. Pretty cool dude he is. Or turned out to be at first. He was sort of a... Mm. Oh, man. Scene 2. Julia Stone Law School D. End. Uh, yeah! We're done with another one, guys. This this game is so good right now. Let's see. I saved D. Saved Sissy. There's no stopping me right now. Corey Kenshin's on the prowl. Scene 3. Go. Let's do this. Save in data slot. Um, should I save in data slot? Yeah, save in data slot three, just in case. Um, now wait, why would I do that? Oh, right, because data slot two is now pre second battle. But then again, I didn't have to make any decisions. So maybe saving in data slot three was kind of dumb. Doesn't matter, already done. Let's do scene three. Hmm. hmm. Start off with a text message that is very long. Or a phone call. Hmm. Was that my phone? I was sound asleep. A message from Shirley. She called again. What could she want this late? Maybe she'll call again tomorrow. I gotta go. Where am I now? What is this place? A hospital, huh? Must be abandoned, or else it's got terrible upkeep. What's with him in these creepy places? Should I go in? No. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here! Let's get out of here! Yeah, I can actually leave the gate. That's kind of cool. Alright, let's do this. I just got the sudden urge to save. I don't know why. Alright, so... What's going on in this place? Oh, another huge place with stairs. There's blood in here. Let's go. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. What? There's dark red writing on the bed. Likely blood. Do not mourn them. Do not avert your eyes. It is happier for them. I have saved them. Them? Who's them? The door seems to be busted. Not operational. Is every door busted in this hospital? Dude, there's got to be at least 15 rooms per floor right now. Hello, my name is David. Oh, what's this? Some kind of dried fluid. It might be vomit. Ew. Hello? Oh. I just saw a shadow. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always. Only there was no one in the bed anymore. What have I accomplished? I could only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. It's his notebook. No doubt. He was here. But is he still here now? Hello? He must have vomited when he came out of that room. Or maybe he vomited going in. How about I just stop talking about vomit for a second? Equipment. 
cardboard box lost and found all right guys hold on what's this an array of nurse call lights all right guys we will end this part here hold on let me just check this trash can and then we'll be done okay well in this part here thank you guys for watching another crooked man um i really appreciate you guys like man so much um as always feel free to let me know what you think is working what you like best um what you think i should change and whatnot and um i really like um when people draw me pictures hint hint so um thank you guys for watching and i will see you all in the next one bye